Welcome back, free thinkers. My message for you today is do not ever let people make you feel guilty for making necessary changes in your life. Welcome back to Grow Rich, Grow Happy, that place where we follow the breadcrumbs of wealth. Guys, now, unless you live under a rock, uh, or, and I, and I understand everybody don't just live in the crypto streets like me, but for those of you who spend a considerable amount of time, or even just a little bit of time, on, to, on the internet, and you've taken me up and you've um, gotten your Twitter account, Crypto Twitter, <clears throat> or Crypto X, and by the way, follow me down below, on look on the uh, right side, it says, at Mr. Foresight 64. That's why you follow me on Twitter. But anyway, um, about Gary Gensler, either getting fired or resigning, depending on which Twitter account you look at, you, you're subject to see both. Well, you know me, I'm always looking. I'm always trying to get the answers because I want to know what's going on because at the end of the day, it affects my bag because you know that the uh, the Security Exchange Commission, they have been like a just a, a dark looming cloud over crypto. One crypto um, token in particular, XRP. Now, guys, I want to talk about this because I want you... And the reason I'm going to talk about uh, this in this sense is this is what I mean by following the breadcrumbs. First off, follow the breadcrumbs. Think for yourself. You know, every now and then I do XRP videos. I get people thinking like, I don't know why you keep shilling this terrible token. People don't think. Kill the noise, guys. Kill the noise. You can call XRP whatever you want, but it is not a shit token. And it's not. You ever want proof? How long has it been in the top 10? Probably since it came out. It's, I think it's at number seven right now in tokens. And we know it's been suppressed by all the negative news and just basically Gary Gensler. I'm not going to say Security Exchange Commission. I'm going to say Gary Gensler. It's been suppressed by him. Well, <clears throat> so I got to thinking, well, if, if he leaves... That's a catalyst we need for XRP. A lot of people out there sort of feel like, oh, that's not going to do anything. It's going to do a lot. Take, for instance, um, I know you guys have probably heard by now that Robinhood trading accounts or whatever, they <clears throat> relisted XRP. I believe they relisted Cardano and the likes of all of them. I used to trade on uh, Robinhood crypto, and I, you know, I trade crypto everywhere, but I used to trade crypto also on... Robinhood, I used to hold XRP on Robinhood, and then when um, when all of that mess jumped off, uh, they removed XRP, they removed uh, Cardano, I think they removed uh, a few others. Well, I thought it was unjust that they was move, removing uh, tokens like Cardano without Cardano having a fair uh, due process. And so I get liquidated all of my crypto, actually stocks too, from over on Robinhood. And I haven't traded over there since. I didn't like the fact that I held crypto over there. And they said, um, you know, you're not going to be able to trade here anymore, anymore. So I was like, this is ridiculous. So I removed it. I'm out. So that being said, if you look currently, XRP is headed toward that dollar. It is uh, it's close to 90 cent today. And a lot of that is just off the backs of the news. The fact that now more people can get XRP. You can get it on Robinhood. A lot of people like Robinhood. You can uh, trade with uh, spot accounts or whatever. Uh, it's not a spot accounts, but where you can um, you can trade on credit almost. <laughs> but um, so that's helping the XRP price as well. So then. So now that I'm seeing articles, is XRP going to go to $2 now? Is XRP going to go to $3? Is it going to go to a dollar? Well, these are the catalysts that you're waiting for, guys. This is, we're in crypto season, big time. This is crypto season like, like you wouldn't believe. But, but you got to see the, 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 the tokens that people are really following. XRP has a following and strong support system like no other. I mean, XRP is holding up strong. They've held up strong even when they were inaccessible 
by regular retail investors. Yeah, you could find ways to buy them. I was doing it. I was buying them, I believe, over on uh, one of them sites um, that got brought down. Anyway, I was buying them over there. And I believe it was KuCoin. I was buying them on KuCoin. And um, uh, that was the only way you could get them. So um, I felt like it was just good to hold on to something then. Anyway, fast forward to now, and things are looking uh, pretty good for XRP. As a price prediction, I'm going to tell you already, I believe XRP can hit $10 max this particular uh, bull run. I'll be glad if we can just get eight. I'll take eight. But um, I'm holding on to my XRP. Those of you who my beginners out there looking for safe investments, I always tell you, you know, I have risky plays that I'm in, but I also have safe ones. The safe ones, are, of course, are your Bitcoin, your Ethereum, Solana, stuff like that. But also believe that you can't get no safer than um, XRP. Not going to make a ton of money, depending on how many you hold, but you're going to make some money. And, and that's not financial advice. It, all you got to do is just look at the history. It, it has stayed where it is uh, strong, even when people couldn't buy it. So that's the only thing you need to know. I believe XRP has a bright future. It has an even brighter future of what we're about to check right now. If, if, if it's any remotely the possibility of being true, guys, we're about to make some money. So, guys, this is your first time here. Uh, I want to thank you for joining the channel. Uh, smash that like button. Smash, smash, smash that like button. Get us up in the algorithm. Guys, we are here to make money. We are here to uh, grow happy. That uh, Check your check down below in the description. You will find um, a 10% discount for a tangent wallet. It does hold XRP. Get you a tangent, guys. Get you a tangent. Use my code down below. It helps out the channel, but you don't have to if you don't want to, as long as you get one. I just want you to be safe so that you don't wake up broke. That being said, let's jump over here, guys. Talk some crypto. All right, so I was checking this out on CoinDesk. It's only a minute and 20, but I want you guys to hear this. Again, I always seek out the truth. Here we go. Uh, where are we at? leaving the SEC. Speculation is on the rise as SEC Chair Gary Gensler gave a speech this morning at the Practicing Law Institute's 56th Annual Institute on Securities Regulation, where he closed his speech thanking the people he's worked with. He said, quote, it's been a great honor to serve with them, doing the people's work and ensuring that our capital markets remain the best in the world. He added, I've been proud to serve with my colleagues at the SEC who day in and day out work to protect American families on the highways of finance. Is this a soft resignation? Well, it sounds like a Crypto Twitter thinks so. Tyler D says Gary Gensler's speech from this morning sure seems like a resignation speech. Feels like he's out the door. While Mert said seems like Gensler has pretty much admitted defeat. And Ivan on tech said crypto is finally free. Thanks, Grandpa Trump. Coincidentally, today we also learned from Fox Business reporting that 18 U.S. states have sued the SEC. According to journalist Eleanor Terrett on X, the lawsuit was signed by 18 Republican attorneys general and details how the agency has committed gross government overreach with its regulation by enforcement crusade against the crypto industry. The suit says that this resulted in infringement upon the state's right to regulate their economies. Follow Coindesk.com for all the latest updates and let us know what you think. Okay, guys, you hear that right there? You hear it straight from the horse's mouth over there on uh, Coin on Coindesk. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. I say this. Even if he's not getting ready to resign, I truly believe now with so many pro crypto candidates that are in the White House now, I think it's going to be a lot harder for him to continue his reign of terror on crypto. I truly believe that, but let's jump over here, guys, because again, I want to bring you guys opportunities. And while everybody not might, might not be interested in um, XRP, I know some of you probably are. You're looking to make money. And, and these are looking at... It's, XRP is like those sure bets. Uh, you're not going to make a ton of money because it's not going to go to $100, $200, at least in the immediate uh, space. Again, you're going to hit probably $8, $10. Uh, maybe some of you might be satisfied with 6 Some of you might be satisfied with $5. Hell, some of you might be satisfied with $2, depending on how many you hold. But either way, either way, uh, it's one of those sure bets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, the likes of those. It's in the top 10 for a reason. So we're going to go down here, guys. And first, let's do this. 
Again, it's trading. It's up 22%, guys, almost 23%, 89 uh, cent. And that's just based off the news of Robinhood. Seriously, it's, it, that's all it takes. Now, can you imagine, can you imagine, guys, if we get Gary Gensler, and I'm going to, if we get Gary Gensler to resign or either just get fired, I don't believe he can just get fired, though. I don't believe that. But if you can, um, if he does resign or if he just throws in the towel and calls it quits, uh, that's the catalyst that we definitely need. Just even the talk of that, I guarantee just to even talk of him leaving is peppering some of this, uh, get some of these percentages that are going up along with the Robin Hood guys. So I think it's a great day for if you're um, if you're an XRP holder. So again, if you see here where we're going, I'm over on Spectre AI's uh, dashboard. Also, they got some new things coming here today, I believe. I might be able to cover that later. And we're going to go here, guys. Got an 8.4 sentiment. Um, but there's a few things I wanted to show you right quick. Um, well, we, uh, let's go down here, guys. Let's go down here. Uh, hold on. Oops. My mouse be messing up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, the EMA 200. Uh, the current price is significantly above the EMA 200, indicating a strong upward trend. This suggests that the price has been consistently rising over the past 200 periods. Um, where are we at? There's something else I wanted to show you. Current price above the supply zone. Future. The current price is above the supply. Uh, where we at? Uh, all right, so we got the supply zone here between 80 and 81 cent. It says uh, the current price is above the supply zone, suggesting that the asset is experiencing strong buying pressure and is not likely to is not likely to pull back to this level in the near future, guys. That's all you really need to know. Um, so from somebody like me, I'm looking at this, guys, and I could go over to uh, Margex. Like I told you, I've been playing over there. I showed you on a, a video yesterday where I made some money over there trading um, ETH. On something like this, I could read these uh, these zones and different things here, these technical um, indicators, and I could go over there and I would be comfortable putting a long call on um xrp maybe a dollar somewhere along there and um actually make some more money just based on some of the things that i'm reading in here so i really believe that uh we're going to hit that dollar possibly we could hit that dollar this weekend again one of the things that i did like when i was looking at this whole uh chart when I was looking at the uh, tokens that was performing, when everything started going backwards, when we got that slight pullback on everything, XRP was the only one that I saw on this page that was behaving the opposite of the market. It was actually going up. So it kind of behaves like it's um, like its own. It's its own entity. Again, you're going to have an XRP uh, ETF. You're going to have all of these things. You're going to have Ripple was going to have their own, their own stable coin. Guys, it's just, it's more things going for Ripple than not. But the thing you guys have to do is always think for yourself. The, the information and the research that you look at doesn't lie. Technical indicators doesn't lie. And once you guys get that in your head, and get your emotions out of it and what other people are saying you can make up your own mind and you can say okay based on what i'm reading and based on these technical uh indicators don't nobody these other people don't know what they're talking about they don't know what they're talking about because i'm telling you guys you be a free thinker That's, as soon as you really get good and get comfortable with believing in yourself and believing in the decisions that you make you're going to go much further than anyone ever even thought you could hell you're gonna even surprise yourself to the next one guys how many of you guys down there hold uh xrp and what do you think xrp has a potential to rise to to the next one guys it's your boy i'm out